To have something to compare the Markforged materials to, I'm working my way through all the nylons I've got queued up. This one is probably the most well-known one, Tallman Bridge. Often referred to as the Easy Nylon Blend, it's relatively affordable at 40 euros per kilogram. They recommend a 250 degree print temperature with a 50 degree glue stick covered heated bed left some of my prints with a bit of warping. Along with a hotter bed, I'd also recommend using your part cooling fan to compensate for the melting scene on the Benchy's funnel and the pull test, as well as to improve overhangs. Print quality was usable, but not particularly great with a total score of 14 out of 20, but strength did impress. Because it is a somewhat soft material, it will flex a lot before breaking, point in case being the bend test for layer strength which mostly flexed right back into shape. The layer adhesion version snapped at a respectable 3.5 kg load. Because that first test did not break, I have to rely on the pull test to calculate a strength rating, but those two also refused to snap below the maximum tested force, which nets Tom and Bridge a perfect 128 kg combined rating. Temperature stability was good as well, with very little softening happening under boiling water. As with most nylons, the raw filament needs to be stored extremely dry, so if you can deal with that and the slightly lower stiffness, Tom and Bridge is a material that will give you a hard time if you try to break it. 